now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. All right, after a day of relentless lake effect snow, finally a good sign here on Power of Five Live Radar since Buffalo has really been stealing the headlines all week. I thought we'd start up in the eastern Great Lakes tonight and look what is finally beginning to shut off across the eastern Great Lakes. That is the lake effect snow. Finally beginning to see the last few flakes fly here as that lake effect snow band begins to shut off across the area. That is very, very good news after six to eight feet of snow. In the past week across parts of western New York State, the lake effect snow machine finally shutting off. But as we know, their troubles are just really beginning because they've got warmer temperatures and rain returning to the area over the upcoming weekend. That is going to be a mess. 23 outside right now at the airport. We've got a westerly wind out there around 5. Temperatures very cold. The good news is that we've got one more really bitterly cold night and then things change for us around here. It's 25 up in Springboro, 23 Mason, Florence at 22. Oh, it's now down to 19 in VV, 18 in Versailles. But look at Harrison and Hamilton down to 15 both locations tonight. It's 21 over in Mount Orb and 26 out around Maysville. So high pressure, that's what's actually helping to shut off the lake effect snow machine too. This high is going to move right overhead overnight, provide us with a frigid night across the area, and then plenty of sunshine tomorrow, but because we'll have such a cold start, that sun's not going to do much to warm us up. Temperatures tomorrow will still struggle to get above the freezing mark. However, as we go into the weekend, that high will keep trekking east and our winds will turn southerly, and by Saturday you should feel the difference outside. It will feel like it's a lot warmer. So here's a look at future cast. Overnight tonight is quiet again, not much going on. On. Looks like we've got ourselves a quiet looking Friday across the area. Friday night, though, clouds will begin to increase very late, and it is possible that late Friday night, early Saturday morning, there may be a little bit of light freezing rain or freezing drizzle out there. Shouldn't be a big deal, though, because temperatures will begin to rise overnight Friday and to Saturday morning. And then it looks like for Saturday itself, while I can't rule out a stray shower across the area on Saturday, the bulk of any rain during the day Saturday, as you can see here, should remain aligned to our north and I actually think Saturday is a decent day for us here in the tri-state. Maybe plenty of clouds but at least dry for the majority of us. Things change though as we get into Sunday it looks like because as we head into Sunday a lot of rain is heading our way especially for Sunday afternoon, Sunday night and into Monday. So let's talk about this weather pattern change here. Finally, as we go into our Friday again, this big dip in the jet stream still very cold, but notice those pinks, which represent the coldest of the air, is beginning to slide its way off towards the east, so that over the weekend, Saturday and the Sunday, we're able to get some of this Pacific air spilling across the country, and it should be a lot warmer. This warm spell, though, doesn't look long because it looks like cold weather wants to build back in for next week, and while we may start mild on Monday, it looks like it will turn very cold as we head into the middle of next week and just in time for Thanksgiving. So 15 for a low tonight underneath clear skies, and then tomorrow, cold sunshine, 34. Here's your day planner. Starting the morning out around 17, and we'll creep above freezing during the afternoon. Here's your seven-day forecast. Rain likely on Sunday into Monday. It looks great for traveling on Wednesday, Mike and Cherie, but uh, Thanksgiving night into Friday, the weather could get interesting. Could see another winter weather scenario. We'll have to keep a close eye on it. We're very lucky.